Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Russia is the largest country in the entire world. Spanning an expanse of over 6 million square miles, the nation accounts for 11% of the world's landmass and has nine different time zones. That goes to show you just how huge the country is, so it should not be surprising that some of the world's most fascinating and insane dog breeds originate from there. In this video, we're going to show you 10 insane Russian dogs, and you better be prepared to be wowed. Number 10. Sulimov. Number 10 on our list is a truly fascinating dog breed. Why, you might wonder. Well, do you ever just sit down and fantasize about what you would get if you crossed a dog and a jackal? No? Well, me neither, but that would be weird. Clearly, someone in Russia had this brilliant idea and created this masterpiece, the Sulimov. Also known as the Russian Shalaika, the Sulimov is a beautiful dog-jackal hybrid created from two Laponian herders and two Turkmen gold jackals. The dog breed dated back to the mid-1970s, and the process began by fostering male jackal pups on a female Laponian herder. This allowed the process of imprinting the jackals on the dog, and in the long run, led to the creation of this special dog breed. Imagine the superior senses of a jackal being thrown in a gene pool with the superior senses of a superb dog breed like that. The Sulimovs that were created from this process were born with excellent olfactory senses. In fact, their sense of smell was so fantastic that they were incorporated into airport search routines in 2002. They detected anything from contraband, to drugs, and even bombs. Sulimovs are an incredible breed. Number 9. Borzoi With its tall, lean, and odd-looking frame, you might find this particular Russian breed to be strange, but these beauties have more functional concern than their looks. Developed long ago in the thick winteriness of Russia, the Borzoi is a coursing and hunting hound known for being sent after rabbits, wolves, and foxes. Later on, they were associated with royal and important personnel as they became a popular breed for canine companions in all of continental Europe. Many royals were obsessed with the regal and tall elegance that the dogs carried about them. Typically a gentle, laid-back breed, Borzois are perfect pets that can adapt to support any condition, including apartment living, despite their big size. Menace and Borzois are hardly ever seen in the same sentence, as the dog is always found to be properly behaved. Borzois are really big Russian sighthounds that resemble some Central Asian breeds, such as the Afghan Hound, Saluki, and the Kyrgyz Tigan. Borzois come in almost any color, with their coat being silky and flat, but sometimes wavy or slightly curly. Although very athletic, Borzois are hardly the barking type and cannot be relied upon to raise alarm in the case of an intruder occurrence. Number 8. Moscow Watchdog Not long ago, sometime in the 60s, a dog breed arose in Russia through a specific and careful design. The Caucasian of Charka and the more popular St. Bernard breeds were used as the basis upon which this beautiful breed was built, including smaller gene contributions from other breeds. Altogether, they created a super watchdog that somehow managed to look so adorable and yet still possessed an intense amount of attack and defense skills. All thanks to the smart thinking that went into creating the perfect gene pool. The resulting canine was a large, intelligent animal that was well suited for guarding the railroads, warehouses, and labor camps that the government needed to keep under serious protection, but also generally affable rather than aggressive. Moscow watchdogs have a fairly thick, double-layer coat that consists of a short, thick undercoat, over which is laid a slightly longer layer of protective, weather-resistant fur that typically comes in white, with large reddish patches often spotted with white, brown, or black. Number 7. Ruski Toy First of all, I'm gonna ask that one question every dog owner thinks about when they lay in bed. Why are the smaller doggos always the ones with the loudest and more aggressive demeanor? Anyway, I ask that question because next up, we have the Ruski Toy. And let me tell you something, this is one hell of a dog. Originally bred in Russia from the English Toy Terrier, there are two types of coats in this breed, smooth coat and long coat. The smooth-coated variety was previously referred to as the Russian Toy Terrier, while the long-coated variety was referred to as the Moscow Long-Haired Toy Terrier. They were eventually brought under the same name, and what can I say? It's a pretty chic name. 
The Russian toy was originally bred to function as a rat fighter as well as a watchdog. Even now, they can still exhibit the vocalization expected from the latter. That means they yap a lot. Number 6. Russian Spaniel Built like a typical spaniel, the Russian spaniel is a type of spaniel that was first standardized in 1951 in the Soviet Union, not long after World War II. The breed was created by crossbreeding English Cocker Spaniels, English Springer Spaniels, and other Spaniel breeds. You could even call it the ultimate Spaniel dog. When you consider its outward appearance, the Russian Spaniel is similar to a Cocker Spaniel, but has a shorter, tighter coat and a longer body. Originally developed and used as hunting dogs, this Russian Spaniel is a short, sturdy breed with a short, silky, and bright coat. This Spaniel breed does not suffer from any of the major health complaints that are normally associated with Spaniels. The breed was originally quite popular in its native origins of Russia, the breed was only introduced overseas very recently in the 1990s. Till now, the breed has still not been officially recognized by any major kennel clubs. That might be necessary considering just how popular they are in their native Russia. Number 5. Russian of Charka Shepherd let me tell you something, the Russian of Charka Shepherd is no small dog by any means. Also called the Caucasian Shepherd Dog, the Russian Mountain Dog, and a bunch of other names, the Russian of Charka Shepherd or the Caucasian Shepherd Dog is a breed of large livestock guardian dog from the Caucasus region. This breed was first standardized and registered by the Soviet Union in the 20th century, but the breed itself is native to the countries of the Caucasus region, Georgia, Azerbaijan, Armenia, and Dagestan. Since ancient times, the Russian of Charka Shepherd Dogs have served as shepherds in the Caucasus Mountains, as livestock guardian dogs, a role they play by defending sheep from the predators that lurk the Caucasian Mountains, mainly just wolves, jackals, and bears. Number 4. Volonka. We have talked about the big, the not so big, and now it's time to talk about the very small. This dog breed, officially called the Russian Zvetnaya Bolonka in Russia, is also known as the Bolonka Zvetna in Germany and generally referred to as a Bolonka. The Bolonka is a rare toy breed of the Bichon type that originated in Moscow and St. Petersburg, Russia. It was developed from the ancestors of more popular smaller dogs, such as the Bichon Frise, Toy Poodle, Shih Tzu, Pekingese, and French Bolognese. Bolonka were originally bred to be the ultimate house pet for apartment living. Sweet, loving, intelligent, and willing to please, this dog is friendly to all and shows no sign of aggression. The Bolonka are very small dogs, as we have established before, and are 18 to 27 centimeters high at the shoulders and 2 to 4 or 5 kilograms in weight. The Russian Bolonka body shape literally resembles a square, with a long coat that has big wavy curls. They are really cute and unbelievably small. They are an adorable breed that the world needs to see more. Number 3. The Russian Black Terrier The Russian Black Terrier is a breed also known as the Cornier Terrier that was created in the USSR in Red Star Kennel during the late 1940s and the early 1950s. These attractive dogs were actually not bred for their appealing appearance, but instead were created for military use. Typically, black Russian terriers are used as working dogs, guard dogs, sporting or competitive dogs, and even companion dogs. Despite the name, you might be confused to find out that these doggos are not actually terriers. Why do they do this all the time? Name the dog one thing when it's another. We just don't get it. Anyway, it is said that this faux terrier is believed that about 17 breeds were used in its development, including the Airedale, the Giant Schnauzer, the Rottweiler, the Newfoundland, the Caucasian Shepherd Dog, and other breeds. These majestic black beauties are large and immensely powerful workers that sport a heavy bone and coarse all-black coat. They are highly intelligent, confident guard dogs that are considered a new and rare dog breed. Appropriately named, these stunning black dogs are affectionately referred to as the Black Pearls of Russia. And hey, that name is about as accurate as it can get. The Black Pearls of Russia are an absolute delight. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best pick was sent in by a subscriber. If you come across a photo you'd like to know more about, then make sure to send it in, and who knows, you might just get lucky and get your photo featured. Number 2. Alibi. 
The Alibi is a menacing yet stunning breed that is also referred to as the Central Asian Shepherd Dogs. Alibi are an ancient livestock guardian breed that was traditionally used to guard sheep and goat herds. They were also bred for protective purposes and guarding duties. This large breed is said to have originated some 4,000 years ago, or more from purely natural selection. So yes, Mother Nature actually made them like this. Isn't that wonderful? These dogs are big, strong, and independent purebred dogs that can be affectionate and quiet when they want to be. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, Volkosov. Ever seen a wolf in real life? Well, if the answer is no, the closest you might get to that is when you run across a Volkosov. They're mean, dark, and absolutely terrifying to look at, but honestly, in a great way. Why great? Well, because they have a lot of responsibility on their shoulders. Russian troops rely on the help of these highly trained wolf-dog hybrids to protect the borders of the large nation of Russia. These dogs have inherited the size and strength of wolves, but have thankfully somehow retained obedience and friendliness. We have come to the end of this video. Thank you for sticking around. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss more amazing content.